and good evening. Wherever in the world you are, ladies and gentlemen, you are watching the OWC 2017 Grand Finals. Today, the match is going to be between United States and Poland. Uh, I'm Evrian casting for you, and joining me today, I have Kano here. How are you doing, Kano? I'm doing great, Evrian. I'm looking forward to this match, man. It is the Grand Finals match. It is going to be super duper hype. And, I mean, I don't know what else to say, really. I'm at a loss for words. What are your thoughts? <laughs> I am just as speechless and I'm super excited like um, we've already seen these two teams coming up against each other just two days ago and already they're back uh, back at it and this time USA from losers bracket Poland looking to defend um, they are just going to be equally at stake here and USA of course I talked to some players earlier they are super excited to get a chance of uh, you know taking it back at right at Poland for the earlier loss and Poland here of course looking to just take it back home this is going to be potentially their first OWC champion title and I can tell you that the players are super excited and they definitely want to make it their year this, this year so um I'm just you know down to like super excited like my heart is pumping in my chest adrenaline is pumping I'm ready to just see what the players are going to be surprising me with and it seems like they're just getting down to do the warm-ups right now Yeah, we'll be getting into the warm-ups very, very shortly. And I mean, these two teams are very, very strong teams. We've seen so far from the previous match that they were fairly evenly matched, despite there being a few little issues going on. But I'm definitely looking forward for it to a very, very, very close match once again. Yeah, uh, I mean, earlier USA certainly saw some difficulties. Uh, we had some issues with the players with either injuries or with uh, hardware uh, failures. But um, Poland is not to say that they won that by pure luck. I mean, luck was certainly involved on more than one occasion. But Poland uh, came through it with uh, both determination and endurance. Like uh, coming from a 0-5 to five disadvantage, making it a 7-6 to six, uh, win. That was just absolutely amazing in my opinion and I would give it to Poland uh, for taking that win but of course they would have to do much better than that to uh, win against USA today they do have to win only once against USA because they are coming from winners however USA is not an easy team to take down and I can easily see the first match today swinging over in USA's favor yeah Poland with that comeback as well as you mentioned is definitely something that's very very remarkable I mean, they definitely had the momentum going, and we have to see whether or not that is going to return in this match in particular. They obviously only have to win one best of 13 series, whereas the United States has to do it twice. So there's definitely a lot on the line for this one. Yep, and uh, oh, this, this warm-up map is extremely awesome. I love this song, and I love this map. Yeah, I really hope it's in double time, because that's going to be very <laughs> exciting. I love this song in double time, man. Just listening to it, it sounds so yeah. hype. I mean, the beat is already so catchy. <laughs> Alrighty, and I think while we're waiting, how about let's just once again go over the rosters. I mean, uh, the 16 players here, everyone probably already know them so well that you guys should be commentating. But I think it's just worth it to give everyone a shout out once again before we go get into the actual Grand Finals. Um, Alright, how about I, I do USA and you do Poland? Uh, yeah, sure. Okay, so USA here, Captain Apraxia uh, is the new captain. Toy just handed him the baton and he's been showing up tremendously for his team. Toy, Happy Stick, Exarius, Idki, Fiery Rage, five returning players, all extremely, extremely skilled and they can just take on any team uh, with their format roster if they're given the chance. Uh, but however, uh, I don't think we'll be seeing Happy Stick today as he, I think he's still plagued by his injury. However, having him absent does not mean the USA is anywhere weaker as they will definitely be looking strong just as always. Uh, but Monko 2K uh, is also a fairly new addition to the team. Uh, he's been around for many many years, but uh, to show up this year, he definitely wants to make a name for himself. Finally, but last but not least, Digital Hypno. This four-digit player, everyone was doubting his performance in the very beginning, but he basically shut every doctor up with his amazing run since the group stages. I mean, his presence on Team USA this year was definitely monumental, and I would say watch out for him this Grand Finals because a four-digit player he might be, he is definitely two-digit at least in skill level. Yeah, most definitely. I mean, the United States has some insane players, as you've mentioned so far. But I mean, Poland, on the other side, they have pretty much a very similar roster in terms of skill. 
You have Virchki, who's the captain, coming into this one. Very, very well-known player, particularly for hidden hard rock plays, but you'll see him performing really well across the board. Rafus as well is another one who's very well-known for double time, but can pretty much perform exceptionally well on almost everything. Wobblefoof, a player who's been around for, you know, uh, well over my, my you know, time phase, like <laughs> double my time, if anything. I'm, it's, it's absolutely likewise, insane. likewise. But yeah, I mean, he's just so, he's so damn consistent. And I mean, you've seen it so far in the previous matches. Mr. Boom is another one as well, who's really, really stepped up to the table, performing exceptionally well on Hard Rock and no mod picks in particular. A-Star, we actually haven't had a chance to see very much of, but it's still a very, very solid player nonetheless. Piggy as well, who's someone who's stepped up insanely when it comes to double time and no mod. We saw it on uh, Packet Hero in particular against the United States last time. Waxon as well is another one who's been doing really, really well when it comes to Hard Rock. And Alien is another one that we haven't really had a chance to see, but still, again, Poland coming in with that very solid roster. Looking forward to a close match. Indeed, indeed. Or two close matches, even. Now, I think it's just uh, worthy of, uh, worthwhile for us to go over once again the rules before we jump in, because today we'll be potentially looking at two matches in case USA wins the first one. And when that happens, what happens is that uh, the bracket will reset, meaning uh, we'll, be, uh, we, we'll have a 10 minute roundabout, and then uh, they will be jumping in back in action uh, 10 minutes later with everything back to zero to zero. So it's a complete reset as if uh, the second match is, you know, like the first match never happened, if you want to put it that way. Um, then of course Poland can just seal it uh, straight up with the first match. It's uh, very down to you know uh, who gets the momentum ongoing in the very beginning. But if it ends up uh, we'll be seeing the second match. That's what's going to happen. And do stick around for the tiebreaker show match. I mean we the two play, to the two teams uh, already played, but they definitely could still um, they could still put up a show uh, because you never know how the players are going to adjust after two days of uh, you know going back to practice. So going into the first one map, I believe this is picked by USA, the Monk Technique of Shadows. Shadow. Yeah, very, very exciting map. I was expecting it to be double time, but we are actually seeing it played on no mod. However, some of the players have opted for some mods. We've got Monko 2K going for easy, Fire Rage on sudden death. So if a miss happens, it's not going to be looking good for him. Id Key as well going for the flashlight. And Digital Hypno just playing along with that no mod. Then you have Virchku going with Hidden Hard Rock. Rafus with autopilot and flashlight. Alien is opting for the no mod as well, so going for the safe route as Digital Hypno is. And then Piggy with the spun out and relax. <laughs> Those are fairly interesting mod choices. Yeah, definitely one you don't normally see in a tournament. But uh, if you haven't noticed as well, we actually see that Poland aren't gaining two points for their players because autopilot and relax don't actually generate any points on Scorpio 2. Wow. You're right, definitely. So it's down to Vilch and Alien to carry this. Two versus, actually, two versus four. Monko I mean, when, is, this is easy. <laughs> when you have a uh, flashlight and easy on one on one side, and then you have the flashlight and the relax on the other. <laughs> yeah. That's gonna turn out. It actually looks as if so Digital Hypno is playing with a uh, touchscreen. You can see the cursor teleporting as well there. Oh yeah, it does appear like that. I wonder if it's actually touchscreen where he's just like spinning, uh, sorry, he's just tapping and lifting his pen out from his tablet all the while. I gotta ask him later, but this is definitely interesting. I mean, uh, last year we joked about players with tablets, and uh, this year uh, in came some impressive PP scores that I'm not gonna go too deep into. But yeah, and I mean, last year already in OWC we had the map which is Helix, um, and that was uh, that was just everyone was talking about. If only we had a touchscreen player for that map. Yeah, touchscreen is definitely something that would benefit a map like that. And I mean, even this one is doing really well for it too. Yeah, definitely. And actually, I think both Alien and Vilch will be closing with full combos. So that's going to do their team justice. Yeah, Fire Rage actually did happen to miss right at the end there, I yeah. think. And Sudden Death means that if you miss once, your score gets completely nullified. Period. No questions asked. Pretty much and... living up to the meme of always throwing games <laughs> yep. on that sudden death and then just right at the end, the miss. But nah. <laughs> and Poland here, 
Of course, with another Polish song,、uh, I mean the Polish players have contributed to the O's musical library with so many of their impressive、uh, song choices. I mean, I-, I did not know a single Polish song before I stepped into O's, and now I、uh, I'm a Polish song favorite myself. I was just talking to Rafis about it yesterday. It's like,、uh, yeah, like be sure to you know once again surprise us with some picks. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. When it comes to these Polish songs, I hadn't really heard of them prior to this, but I've definitely become a lot more familiar. And I'm starting to build up a nice little collection. You know, I've got a couple of <laughs> albums. You know, I'm just I can flick through and I'm ready to. You know, it, whenever I want to indulge myself in some Polish music, it's just there on the go. Yeah, it's like、uh, when you when you when you go back to your visit your family over the holidays and you put up a Polish song and your parents are surprised. Like, how how did you know this? How did how did my my son get、uh, get so musically、uh, tasteful by presenting to us this <laughs> European language song that we've never heard of, about? Of course, I'm supposed to thank for that. It's gonna be one of those things where you know if you end up with like a Polish girlfriend or a girlfriend who has Polish parents, it's like you, know, you can say, oh yeah, I know this song. <laughs> yeah, to, to impress the, to impress the girls, you know. And then you you have to go back and、uh, direct message、uh, the Polish players in, like a thank you note. Hey, I, you know, I just, I just, you know, I got together with this girl. Thank you guys so much for, for the, for the thank, song, thank, for the meme. Thanks for, the, thanks for the dating advice, guys. Thanks for dating advice. Yeah. And actually, from the, from the,、uh, hears of it, it seems that、like、this is a fairly slow song. It doesn't seem like it's anywhere、uh, above one forty, ish at most. I mean, it's a relatively slow song, but whether or not it's mapped that way is completely yeah, completely unknown could, to us. <laughs> they could. I mean, the mapper could choose to go with the double time、uh, mapping style, which is to, of course, emphasize the、uh, the rhythmic aspect by basically、uh, mapping it as if it's twice as fast. Yeah, that is true. Oh boy, oh. the background as well. Oh,、Beautiful、that's a, a that's a sexy player. I think everyone knows that face. Don't even have to go jump into explaining who that is. Is yeah, that very, very who, is that an egg or is that a mango in the background? <laughs> it's actually mango. It's actually mango. <laughs> it's the actually best, mango. The best the referee、background. we can have. Shout out to Mango Miser, the referee. <laughs> oh my goodness! I have no words, man. I have absolutely no words. This is just、yeah. beautiful. <laughs> I actually think as well that this, based on the difficulty name, I think that's a combination of Rikozen and Platonic's name. So we have two very familiar mappers, two very familiar Polish mappers. Yeah. And speaking of Platonic,、uh, Platonic is a very old veteran Polish player. He's been around for pretty much all WCs up to this years, and、uh, he's been tremendous in you know bringing Poland to、uh, the the footing it is right now. And this year, Potopnik passed the baton on to the new generation. And I believe Potopnik,、uh, if I were him, I'd be watching the stream right now. So definitely shout out to Potopnik for his amazing, amazing leadership over the years. And、uh, the players, I think, will be <laughs> of course commemorating him with this pick. Yeah, definitely seems like a map that's been made very recently, if not today. But coming into this one, as you mentioned, it's fairly slow, but it seems like it is being mapped sort of in that style. Have to wonder. I don't think anyone's actually single tapping this. Everyone is alternating.、Uh, I don't think anyone can single tap this. This is, I think, single tap wise,、uh, faster than the amazing break. Oh damn. Few players struggling with the slider sections. Although Fire Rage did manage to get through it initially, but dropping combo、yeah. shortly afterwards. Wobbuffoof is still holding on the combo there. Yeah. <laughs> well, would you know? Like, I think this is this is like a given because it's a Polish song, and Wobbuffoof is like, I gotta do this. Like, no questions asked. I, I can I can drop combos on Lindworm. I can fail on Amazing Break. I can do whatever in the match, but this is one where I cannot back down from the challenge. <laughs> it's like where where your pride is absolutely on the line. You just have to. But actually, looks、uh, from the looks of it, actually, it's a fairly interesting map. I wouldn't just call it a meme map because there are some aspects of it、uh, where it does、uh, challenge your alternating aspect. 
and I think it's a fairly good warm up if the players intend to go for you know like the warm up. The, sorry, the the already maps, which is the amazing break and lead warm. Yeah, this is definitely not a bad warm up choice for a map like that. Especially, I mean, you can see a lot of these cut streams kicking in as well as just as you mentioned, the nature of the map just favors alternating. Yeah, definitely. Seems like this section is slowly but surely starting to kick up, especially in slider velocity. We're seeing a lot of yeah. faster sliders as things get further and further into this. There is a build-up, so it's getting a little bit more high for this song. <laughs> the build-up can always go somewhere. Got to add this one to my collection, man. <laughs> yep. I mean, you already did by downloading it on your client. It's beautiful. Just listen to it. Beautiful. Absolutely. As you can see, the teams are always having fun with warm-ups. Polish players going for their Polish songs. United States always having a little bit of fun. I mean, we saw the touchscreen, the easy, the flashlight, for example. Oh, and those are some extremely hard patterns to hit. And actually, I think Piggy failed there right at the end. It definitely looks like we've lost Piggy right towards the end of that one, yeah. but so far every other player managed to get through it. And actually Poland will take away that one with 3-4. to four. <laughs> Yeah, Wolf scored just making up a huge difference. He, got, he managed to get a 1k combo on that with 482,000 points. That's very, very impressive. Indeed. Especially throughout some of those slider sections, they were nasty. And that's the second warm up map uh, gone over. So now we'll be jumping into the rolling phase before we start the bends. Let's see what the players can do here. This is the most technically challenging part of the entire match. I mean, even if you can FC every single map, you still cannot FC, uh, do a complete the roll challenge, as we call it. Yeah, I mean, that's one of those things where the, the rolls kind of equate to your average accuracy as well. So, I mean,. <laughs> If you haven't practiced this, then you're bound to get bad act throughout the entire thing. And it, it's just this, as I mentioned, every time it's a skill mechanic. If you haven't practiced your roles, you will not win. And I mean, it's so far showing that Poland might not have practiced their role as much as they could have. I mean, they've been known in the past for, especially Wolf has been known in the past for not really practicing too many map pools, but I'm assuming that's very different when it comes to a serious match like this. Yeah, definitely. And, oh, wow. Oh, and they both get 27, Wobble Wolf and Wilchku. So, <laughs> so it seems like Poland is just destined for 27 no matter what. Itki rolling oh, a 73. Itki rolling like a 73. That's, that's a good start. Okay, okay, okay. So Itki is going to be the, uh, doing his team a huge favor by securing the second ban and first pick. What? How? Fire Rage also rolls another 27. What? Rigged! Locktap, this has got to be rigged. I'm smelling this all the way from the commentator's seat. This is so rigged beyond all doubts. <laughs> Seeing th 327s coming in. Oh, we didn't see it again. Damn. That's unlucky. Yeah, like USA before in the past years are really known for their rows. I mean, uh, if anything, Toy is more known for rolling uh, one digit than uh, two digits, so it's definitely in USA's interest to put boost up on that aspect. But this year, it seems like they finally got rid of the curse by, of course, as you can see here, taking the, the win on the roll. <laughs> okay, and there goes the first fan, which is made of fire, made of fire. Yeah, it looks like we won't be seeing Made of Fire again in this one, sadly. We may potentially see it in the second match if it does occur, but... It really depends on whether or not it comes down to it, but so far, we will not be seeing it in this first one. Yep, indeed. So, that's one map out of the way, and one very, very scary map, to be honest. Like, I've, we've seen this play between uh, UK and South Korea, and the UK just absolutely, like, uh, got demolished even though they picked it and they just uh like there were fails everywhere by the end like it wasn't even pretty <laughs> and apraxia from usa is going to ban packet hero i definitely think that's a really really smart choice for the united states because they previously haven't been performing too well on it i think that was one that they actually lost to both poland and the uk on so 
it's just one of those ones where they might want to be taking out the consistency pick which is very you know speedy and aim heavy as well where they might see a few random misses occurring which is just it makes sense piggy also performed really well on that last time for poland so that could be something that they might be fearing just a little tiny bit and obviously they've been thinking about their bands when it comes to this after having played poland once they're, they're not here to make any mistakes yeah so they're going to check the kakuzetsu thanatos in fact, if I could just bring up one point, um, in the earlier match, USA took a five point straight from Poland in the very beginning, and that's big small volume because they the five points were all won fairly convincingly, where USA showed both consistency and the upper uh, upper edge on skills. Uh, so USA could just go back to look at what they picked against Poland and uh, re of I guess uh, replicate what they did that the other day, and that's a very viable strategy. So I think uh, USA here picking Kaksis Thanatos definitely, like you said, put some thoughts into it. But Poland, I think they got a fairly good roster to counter it. Uh, he and Wubov both got a switch size before we start, however. Uh, I think Rafis will, yep, Rafis will come in. There we go. <clears throat> yeah, so as mentioned, we're seeing Waxon coming for this one. I'm actually surprised not to see Mr. Boom on a map like this, but still going with a solid lineup of having Wubov, Piggy, and Rafis to join them as yeah. well. All four players are very, very skilled, and I think they are very worthy of this pick. Uh, on USA side, Manko JK, Toy, Apraxia, and Livki. Four players all known for their hard rock uh, strength, so I think it's going to be fairly, fairly uh, balanced to say these uh, eight players will go give us a very interesting match. Uh, Toy definitely aiming for that full combo which he achieved earlier. Uh, Itki, uh, of course, he's always the kind of like the solid consistency backbone. Uh, Gen two from uh, after inheriting it from Toy. Mako 2K and Apraxia is are, are the new players, new additions to the team, and they've, they've, like we said, made the show for themselves. And this time on this pick, I think it's going to be interesting to look at how they're going to perform. They're probably going to rely upon Toy and Iki for the consistent uh, combos and themselves going out there to, of course, uh, make, it, uh, make it their own game. And finally, getting down to it, Kaxis Thanatos on Hard Rock. Yeah, something to mention about the last match that played out when the United States faced Poland is that the United States actually had three four-digit combos, whereas Poland only managed to get two four-digit combos. And the thing is, it seemed like Rafus and Waxon were having a little bit of trouble, so you have to wonder whether or not it's going to pay off for them this time around, because we've seen that these players do have the potential to full combo, but it's whether or not the tournament pressure and the nerves kind of get to you a little bit. Yeah, already we're seeing two breaks from the team, from team Poland, uh, but it's not too much of an issue as we, this map is fairly long, and uh, also, one thing to note is that this map it has just about everything. It has uh, little jumps, and it has, of course, the one-third pattern streams uh, fairly spaced out and to throw you off, especially on Hard Rock. So the players have got to watch out for those, and Wax dropping there is definitely not going to be good for Poland. As we see USA, four combos still going on strong. Yeah, so far this is definitely playing out a lot different from the last time. Wolf having that early miss is very uncharacteristic. Waxon also dropping there. Not looking good for Poland on the on the beginning here, but this can change at yep. almost any point. This map is very, very insane when it comes to some of the patterns that it has to offer. A lot of the one-third patterns and just the jumps and the spacing that involve right. these double sections where we could potentially see a miss here. Oh, yeah, and oh actually my goodness. Wolf is the only player on the side of Poland to hold on that part. However, the United States has four full combos coming in right now. As I do say that though, Monka 2K does drop. Yeah, and that's going to give a uh, 300, almost 300,000 lead to uh, United States. Actually, 250, not 300 yet, but it's definitely getting there. As we see that at the first break section after the chorus, Toy at Price Ipki holding strong against Wolf, who's not even holding a full combo. And that's going to speak volume once we get down to past the mid uh, the midpoint mark. I don't think they are planning on dropping anytime soon, and this is going to give uh, US USA such a huge advantage over Poland on this map. I mean, yeah, Poland okay. has could possibly think of banning this map if they cannot summon good full combos because they banned Middle Fire in place of this map, uh, and that is a, I guess, it's not really a map that any team in the entire WC roster could consider it a fairly easy one. Even for USA, who has amazing green monsters like Toy, it's still going to be a fairly risky pick to go down that direction. Yeah, I mean, it's not a bad choice. It really just comes down to how you do perform in the tournaments, because, I mean, we've seen that both of these sides, both of the rosters, have potential to full combo a map like this. It's just whether or not it comes down to it happening in a one-try scenario. 
Yeah, definitely. And we're already seeing that USA are jumping the four digit range. Toy, Idki, Apraxia not looking to drop their combo anywhere soon. And the lead is just tremendous. This is not going to be a, a somewhere where USA can come. Uh, sorry, Poland can come back. They're going to rely on a fail, which I don't think is possible. The ending is very lax. It's arguably the easiest one to finish in the entire pool. Versus the others, like Amazing Break with just unforgiving ending patterns. This one is a lot more lax comparatively. Yeah, so far the United States are pretty much matching their last previous performance, except different players swapping around a little bit. We're seeing yeah, Monko Tuke actually having a little bit of trouble on this one in comparison to the last time. Monko Tuke was pretty much the, the backbone carrier of this one. But yeah, even Apraxia's act as well is really nice here. 98.6 coming in. On a map like that, 3 4 combos from the United States. Wobble Wolf did happen to drop at the end there after getting a 4-digit combo, but yeah, that is a very, very convincing win for the United States on that one. Yeah. Over a million points. That's three full combos on a final Grand Finals pool hard rock pick, which is incredibly good. Like, this score would put a lot of teams to shame. Yeah, three full combos is definitely a very, very nice performance. Monko 2K not quite playing as well as they were yesterday. I mean, they, they were stepping up to the table. Monko 2K was just going mad on almost every map that we'd seen against the United Kingdom. Yeah, USA, um, they were very tilted from their earlier loss against Poland. And this time, after seeing their earlier performance against United Kingdom, they definitely have recovered, and it's up to Poland to once again see if they can crush their spirit. But of course, USA has shown some tremendous mental fortitude, and I think they already got some team meetings to discuss uh, how to avoid that. Getting, uh, you know, just getting uh, straight up uh, untiered on, on the mental game. But however, next pick is picked by Team Poland, Coco No Sose. Let's get 182 million oh, going on boy. here. <laughs> oh boy, the 182 point difference on the last one. It's going to be interesting to see whether or not that does happen again, but it's very, very unlikely. We may see something just as close, but I really doubt it would yeah. be exactly 182. I mean, if I mean it's, happens, very, it's very close uh, over the couple of matches we've seen so far playing this pick. Uh, this pick is fairly popular among the teams, and uh, so far it's appeared very close on almost all occasions. Although and I think one it's thing, yeah. I was going to say, one thing to mention is that we did see two 27s, or actually three 27s coming in on the roll. So it is possible that we could see another 182 difference. Oh, yeah. It's, it's like the, that the three 27s in a row is probably God's way of telling us that we're being watched and that something supernatural might be coming into play soon enough. <laughs> I mean, supernatural? Don't you mean scripted? <laughs> scripted, <laughs> no, no, <I'm> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. All right, so... We will be getting into this one very shortly. It's going to be interesting to see whether or not the players do manage to get through some of the square sections. Because we saw a few very uncharacteristic misses coming in yesterday. Or the, I think it, I'm not sure if it was in the Poland match, but I know the United States had a few characteristic, uncharacteristic misses coming in from Xarius in particular. Then he managed to full combo some of the square sections, but straight after the break, he happened to miss on one of the slow parts. I think Doomsday actually pointed out, you know, we've got an easy section coming here, and then Xarius just misses right on that. So it's kind of yeah. a bit of a commentator curse more than anything. But I, I think it's more like you know, oh. We I got through the section. Yeah, hurry! Oh, whoops! Uh, one one mis one mistake, and this goes my combo that I've been working yeah. so hard to keep up. I mean, especially especially when you have a break in between as well. Sometimes it can throw you off a bit. If you know, you just take a moment to reset your pen or whatever else it is. Like it's all about your hand positioning and stuff. But right. Getting into this one, we're seeing the scores flicker back and forth because the start of it's fairly simplistic, but things are about to change and pick up very very shortly. It'd be coming in with an early miss here. Yeah, the space pattern, the spacing plus the overall flow, structural flow of the entire map, uh, as determined by the sliders, are going to be fairly difficult for the players to keep up, even if they are extremely skilled uh, in this World Cup Grand Final stage. I mean, this is one where, even back in the olden days, like we repeatedly mentioned when it was first ranked, considered to be one of the hardest map sets in the entire game. And when players could muster FCs on it, it's pr probably held uh, almost equally impressive as uh, you know, Freedom Die for Dimensions, hard, the Hidden Hard Rock full combo we're seeing nowadays. Yeah, I mean, when you put a map like this on 240 BPM AR 9s, and not only that, but the, the nature of the patterns that you see here are just so hard to hit when this reading requirement is involved. So far we're seeing, you know, obviously Wobble Fork and Toy, both players with really, really solid reading. And I mean, even Wushku as well is coming in here. Really, yep. really impressive performances so far. But things are about uh, to change. 
my earlier combo, advantage definitely goes to Poland, LCCX Serious Fire Rage plus Mr. Boom all missing on the section. However, here we go going to the quarter section very soon. This is where already oh, every so single player missing on that every single entire square player. section. Yeah. <laughs> we might see the odd one or two, you know, combo through that section. We saw a spare have an insane performance on this yesterday. Definitely, Spare was a show of tremendous for his team. And this today, the eyes are definitely on Xerius plus Uwebom and Rafis. I mean, these two, these three players have shown to be capable of doing some incredible things on this map. But as we go into the section here, it seems like it's going to be slightly in Poland's favor as we see that Toy is only one holding a 20 plus combo on his, on, on his team. <laughs> Here we're going to yeah. the another square jump section very soon. This is where we see combo is going to drop once again. Oh, Ooh, but Toy and, and Xarius comboing through that. Yeah, Toy and Xarius, two combos that definitely USA needs these. And 50k in difference, Poland will have to work some extra miles to, of course, defend against USA in this coming section. Still about halfway to go on the map, and that's going to be tremendous for USA. Yeah, this is a relatively slow section. Plenty of opportunity for the United States to build up some free combo here. Although we could potentially see some misses on these slow parts. We have seen it happen before. Whether or not it's going to happen again, who yeah. really knows. Toy and Xerius are both a backbone carries for Team USA, and them showing up here are definitely going to be appreciated by his team. Ooh, Ooh and completely, completely misreading that triangle section as well. Yeah, that's not going to be good. As we see, USA will now be taking over in the score lead. Anytime now. There we go. Back and forth sliders are equally demanding, I would say. And of course, uh, this section here, going into the next chorus, will be just as challenging as the earlier. In fact, even harder. One thing the Satan, the mapper, did here was that he basically made sure each section is uh, harder than the previous by doing something a little different here and there. And of course, the players will have to adjust. Here we go! Yeah, I mean, you mentioned earlier, Ebrian, that. Wobblefoof and Rafus were two players to look out for on a map like this, but so far, I mean, BHQ and Mr. Boom, they are the ones in the driver's seat with the combos here on the side oh, of the team. Oh, yes, combo. you're right. Toy has actually dropped there as well, so it's Xarius with a 900 combo. Idki has dropped as well, so it's a 900 combo versus a 600 combo, as well as Rafus. Wait, what is, what's happened to Rafus? I think there be, there were some hardware issues with him. Yeah, yeah he was, he was no like loss and he disconnected slightly with the, with the tablet, I think. But he's back and uh, yeah, so about 100,000 points in favor of USA right now. Xerius definitely showing up for his team on this pick. I mean, earlier this pick was picked it was picked by Poland. So if Poland loses, it will be pretty bad for them, at least to say. Here we're going to the final score section. Let's see if anything's going to change here. Xerius has to miss for Poland to make a comeback. There's not enough combos for, for Poland to challenge Xerius with. Yeah, it's, it's honestly amazing how we, we actually very rarely see Exarius in the online world when it comes to OS, but still manages to be such an impressive player when it comes to maps like these. Yeah, Exarius, man. I mean, you gotta give it to this guy when you're talking about this uh, unconventional old maps. And, oh, he, do, he does miss, but I think he already did his team, his team enough of a favor by getting that lead. I mean, 100,000 in lead against a Poland is a tremendous uh, advantage, even though you can say that uh, it's kind of squeezed in, uh, in between his teeth from Poland. But it's going to be yeah. a very, very good win for USA, taking this from Poland, about uh, 67,000 in score difference. We won't be seeing a 182 point score difference. Mr. Boom managed to hold on right at the end there, but Axarius had already built up enough combo. Not only that, with the accuracy too. And yeah, I mean, Rafa's yeah. also having some issues in the middle of that didn't quite help either because he had a combo going and he could have potentially seen up to a 900 combo. And not only that, but the fact that his tablet stopped, I believe, it ended up resulting yeah, that, in him that dropping was his more accuracy than as well as his score. He just dropped his accuracy due to the misses that were happening pretty much all the time. You know, 46 misses on a map like that. Not not the best when it comes to hardware issues. Definitely not ideal. And in this case, uh, back to USA with the pick. Seems that like USA is definitely back in their A game today, as we see that uh, they are, of course, summoning everything they've got against Poland. Poland right now, I think uh, they have to think about what USA did poorly uh, two days ago to make it their uh, strategy and their entrance of attack. Whereas USA has just defended this lead. I mean, two points to nil. This is a fairly comfortable lead against uh, the other team in the Grand Finals, I think. 
You just have to make sure they win every single one of their own pick to make it their match for this first set at least. And Toy's gonna go for Amazing Break. Oh boy, they're going for Amazing Break again. Here we go. We actually saw yesterday that no players on the United States side managed to fail it at all, but we did yeah. see that happen in the Poland match. Whether or not that's gonna occur again, hopefully that's not the case for the United States being on their own pick, but... I mean, you could also see Poland step up to the table. We've seen a lot of the players on their side perform really well on this, so this could go any way. This map is fairly balanced when it comes to these two teams. There isn't really a side which favours, I'd have to say. It's fairly fairly balanced overall. It just comes down to whether or not players combo the intro and obviously the, the build-up sections towards the end. Yep. This map, of course, mapped by the community's favourite, Monstrata. Monstrata is experimenting with alternating for this pick, uh, sorry, for this song. And this song is very amazing by itself. And uh, the mapping here definitely reflects some uh, some of the amazing sections it has. Like the chorus part is absolutely hot blooded, gets you pumping. And the players, I think, would, def would definitely appreciate this song, if anything, even if they can appreciate this map. Uh, yeah, I think like we have more students on the USA side than Poland. And uh, Yidki, uh, I know Yidki is in high school, Toy is in university, uh, Digital Hypno I think high school as well, Fiery I am not sure, but yeah. So definitely they have to juggle with their own schedule for this this song. And uh, are we having some sy synchronization issues? There we go. Yeah, it seems like Yidki... Oh, there we go. Yeah, it's all fixed now. Yeah. Earlier drop from Toy, but this is only the very beginning. I mean, it's not even a hard section yet. The hard section is where it all comes down to. So Toy definitely has has a lot of room to come back. Yeah, we're actually seeing oh. quite some accuracy drops from some of the players here. Yeah, Toy, Piggy, you're right. Itchy. A lot of players are struggling with accuracy right in this intro from the get go. But I mean, if you're missing on some of these streams, they are very very hard to recover your accuracy and also get your you know your cursor back on on point. Yeah. And also one thing to note that this map has a huge fail potential at the end where we have this amazingly punishing zigzag stream going upwards that I don't even know what the heck Monstrad is thinking when he mapped that. He probably just thought about a way to finish the song with a bang and then ended up creating this monstrosity. And uh, <laughs> yeah. So it seems like the, uh, for the first quarter section, we're heading, we're slightly going over to Poland, but anyone with a miss could change some something here. Let's see who it's gonna be. Players are holding strong. We know that USA is one team who's able to muster up very good combos if you just allow them to go with it. Getting the groove and it seems like Piggy and Ruby Wolf along with Fiery Rage will be the ones to break on that section. Yeah, this will slowly but surely go back in the United States' favor. It is two four combos against one, however, Itki and Toy are coming up with some nice 600 combos for the side of the United States, showing that support for Digital Hypno. Yeah, and AQ and Digital Hypno holding strong steel along with Toy, definitely going to be giving USA a lead here. Fiery Rage struggling a little bit, but he's recovering. Like, his accuracy is not tanking, so I definitely think it's just accidental misses. Accuracy here is where you want to look at when a player is, seems to be struggling with the map. It can tell you whether he is actually uh, having trouble with the map itself or he's just having a bad day. Yeah, it could potentially be some of the nerves kicking in for Fire Rage as well. And it's definitely a lot on the line, a lot of pressure in this match for both sides. So, yeah, I'm not sure You're if it's just gonna me, be but uh, is everyone frozen on your, your part? Yeah, it seems like. Oh, there we go. Wait, there we go. I think there's a disconnection from Wax and what a connectivity from him. Uh, I hope he's still with yeah. us. Oh, yeah, he oh, is. Okay. Yeah, Wax is yeah. still with us, but just a little bit out of sync. It's fine. I mean, get an opportunity to see the map in two different points. So. <laughs> yeah, Wax is solo playtime. And we'll see going to the second chorus. This is where things take a slight turn for the harder. As we see that all of the USA players just absolutely going ham on this map. They definitely came in prepared, knowing what to do here. Everyone holding to the combos, Digital Hypno, still holding strong even with Toys dropped. Toys Doesn't matter dropped. because his teammates are around. Yeah, we're approaching the three-quarter mark and we still have two four-digit combos from the side of the United States. Poland only has Wax on holding on right now. And yeah. I mean, we're not, we're not even sure if that's still the case because of the fact that he is a little tiny bit behind, but... <laughs> right, so we're, nice we're pacing at the, at the pass here. 
Yeah, but oh, and yeah, wax on actually drops there. On it that. does drop indeed, and I think that's gonna be the nail in the coffin here. As we see that if Key is still going strong, even though well, Digital Heaven was about to go strong as well. He does drop, but I don't think it's gonna matter much. As we see, that we're closing into the end, about the quarter of a way to go. I'm going to be paying special attention to see who's gonna be having trouble in the final end stream. That could spell tremendous things. It really comes down to whether or not the United States has a few fails coming in at the end of this. I mean, Wolf is building up a nice four-digit combo, but at this point in the map, it doesn't really matter whether or not Inky misses. It just comes down to whether or not the players pass this map. Indeed, so we indeed. have to see. We're getting closer and closer, edging towards the end. And here we go to the final section. We have some connectivity issues uh, on my screen here, so I'm not sure what happened. But I, I'm going to have to pay attention to the players on their own screen here. For reference. Yeah, it appears Fire Rage might have actually dropped out just a little bit, but all the players yeah. in the United States what happened? managed to all the players in the United States oh. managed to pass that. But Fire Rage, I'm not quite sure has happened. I, I well I got confirmation from the MP bot. It doesn't tell me that uh, Team USA lost this one to Poland. So whatever happened with Fire Rage or any other player, it seems like this one will be going over to Poland by uh you, you want to call it sheer luck, which I think is how could be what happened here, where USA definitely looked like they got us in the bag, but that fail possibly coming in from Fire Rage uh, just made this all, all gone down the drain for Team USA. And Poland here definitely uh, took a breather by, of course, managing to take this one by luck. And now it's their pick to show us that it's not just their luck. Oh! Oh, apparently no one failed and Poland just won straight up. It's not even a submission error. Like I thought it was Poland. It's USA had a fail, but Poland turns out to be the one to, to come out, come up on top of this and uh, take this one from USA. Wow, very impressive. Yeah, we ended up actually seeing Waxon, Wobbuffoof, and Rafus all with four-digit combos at the end of that. So they ended up generating 600, roughly about 600,000 score each. Whereas Toy and Fire Rage was just lacking a little tiny bit behind, below the 500,000 mark. Yeah, and Locktap is berating me for calling out too prematurely. Uh, and I do apologize to USA players, especially to Fiery Rage, for that uh, fairly irresponsible call. I mean, could have checked the link, but what do I know? And it seems like Poland will be going to pick La Vida, the double time pick. Yeah, they're going for Lavide, which is not a bad choice. Not a bad choice at all. Not Definitely a bad choice something. in both the song pick and the map pick. Yeah, I mean, this is a very pleasant song to listen to. We've mentioned it almost every time it's been picked. And I'm glad to see that it's being picked so often. It's a really yeah. solid choice for this roster as well. You have a lot of very, very strong double time players on the side of Poland. The United States also has very, very strong players. But it's really hard to tell because this map obviously isn't your average double time pick. You see a lot of that older mapping style kicking in here. And I mean, some of the newer players still have a pretty good time on that in particular, but yeah, the nature of these bursts and the patterns as well, they're just so nasty. You need to have really, really good finger control and speed for it. Not only that, but also the aim requirement is just insane. Seems like Ravis is summoning Alien. Oh, okay. I thought, I thought he was going for the uh, extraterrestrial Alien, but I mean, Alien the player also works. Kind of disappointed. I mean, I would love to meet an alien myself, given that I don't get abducted. Abducted. Yeah, we're actually seeing alien coming here for this one. I mentioned we hadn't really seen too much of alien, but it's going to be their time to shine here. Yeah. <laughs> so the players are just uh, chugging some bandering back and forth. Monko 2k support attack uh, Stuve is giving away. <laughs> For some reason, the player Stuve is so associated with support attack gives away I, I giveaways. I don't even know what, what the hell is wrong, going on with that. Anyway, going yeah. down to the match itself, Lavide double-time pick now from Poland. Let's see how this goes. 
something to note about this is that we actually didn't get a chance to see Poland play this map, so this is one of the things where we're kind of new to seeing how they play on this. We've seen that obviously the players have practiced it, Rafa's in particular coming in with a very, very strong performance in solo play, but it's going to be interesting to see how they perform on it overall. So far we're seeing a few misses from Alien and Mr. Boom coming in. Piggy had a little bit of an early miss, but pretty much following up with the same combo as Rafa's. Praxia is the only player for the United States to drop so far, but is managing to build back that combo. Yep, uh, like, like I mentioned, Digital Hypno definitely a player, despite ranking, is way underrated by his rank. And uh, Itki, Mongo 2K here are also equally as strong on the sub time pick. So they got a fairly good defense line against Team USA formed, and as I was saying, that Itki does drop. Yeah, we saw Monko 2k come in with an insane performance on this last time around. I believe he actually full combat it with near 99 ack. Yeah, he was, he's pretty good with double time, least to say, and that's already an understatement. But then again, uh, this is still a very close match uh, from the looks of it right now. Oh, yeah, Monko 2k in the last match against the UK uh, managed to full combat this with 98.85. And so far we're seeing almost a very similar performance coming in right now from him. Yeah, I mean, this map is definitely not one where you can seal the deal by just having one full combo. You kind of have to have a team effort going on here. And it seems like the team effort is fairly sh fill short on USA side. We see uh, one more drop from Monko Chukui, and that's the last of their combos going. Gone down the drain. Mr. Boom and Raf is still holding on strong on Poland, and they are probably taking a breather here, seeing that, knowing that USA has no one to defend against them. Oh, except Apraxia, actually, who recovered earlier, um, which still would give a leeway and the advantage over to Poland. In, uh, uh, assuming that they can hold on through this final section. We're now yeah, in a slower slow part. Section. Some freak combo coming here, but this is the part where we're going to see a lot of breaks kick in. Apraxia really, really needs to hold on throughout this. Yeah, if Apraxia drops, but, it's, that's the last nail in the coffin for USA on this pick. The accuracy is, I would have to say, slightly in favor of the United States. We have a few Ooh. high accuracies from the side of the United he, States. I think he does oh drop. my goodness, Apraxia has dropped. This is going to be going yeah. back towards Poland. Rafus is still holding onto a full combo here. Piggy is also building up a nice 500 combo, even through this really tough section. Well, he, 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 Rafus does drop, but that's, that doesn't think it matters. Like, this part is so much in favor of Team U uh, Poland right now, with Piggy's 600 plus combo, sealing the deal 400,000, sorry, 370,000 in favor of Poland on this pick. That's very strong and convincing going over to Poland, and that makes the, uh, the match 2 all. A well-deserved win for Poland on this pick, and they definitely needed it to tie up the lead. Now back to yeah. USA once again with the pick. Definitely a really, really nice performance from Poland there. Pretty solid win on their end. I mean, coming in with over 300,000 points, the lead. Rafa's almost with that full combo there. Only just <laughs> happened to one miss right towards the end. But I mean, Piggy also managed to bring it back by full comboing even through the hardest section. Some yeah. Of it. So yeah, that was Piggy, definitely Mr. stepping Boom, up. Piggy, Mr. Boom, Rafa's all showed up tremendously well. And of course, Alia, who just exited. I was going to talk more about him, but I guess he doesn't really want to get talked about. Um, also, according to Piggy, Xerius is mapping on the tournament server. Alright, and here we go into the next pick from the USA, the Knight of Knights. Here we go, Knight of Knights. Another one that we actually did see a fail on last time, but it, based on the fact that they didn't manage to fail an amazing break, we could see that not happen again, hopefully. Yep. The United States. This is their pick, and they don't really want to be seeing any fails coming in. Because that is definitely going to be something that's quite tilting. But they are going with the strong hard rock roster for this one. Toy, Apraxia, Digital Hypno, and Itki coming in for this. Pretty much the same lineup that they did happen to have. I actually think it is the same lineup for Kazetsu and Thanatos. USA are definitely going out there by giving Apraxia more showtime this time around. Um, I mean, after going back to the VODs from the players earlier, like uh, after the, the loss earlier from Poland, USA took some time to discuss among themselves about you know, what could have gone differently. And uh, they said that basically Apraxia not being there for tiebreaker probably could have, you know, was the one to make the difference. And, uh, you know, by having Apraxia showing up more for his team on this stage right now, it definitely is needed. And going to the, this hard rock pick, actually, this is yeah, it's the only remaining hard rock. So picking this out of the way gives uh, no more hard rock. So if USA wants to play hard rock again, they gotta go down to uh, the free free mod section. Yeah, getting all the hard rock out of the way right at the beginning. As you mentioned, though, there's still the free mods to go, but this is very much a test of aim. Yeah, exactly. And for 
a vast majority of the map is fairly lax until we hit the final uh, the final ending section which uh, everything that has space in it gets magnified by a uh, good uh, twofold so it's definitely in the player's interest to pay special attention to that part because that's where we expect skills to come in and a hard rock missing one two even just three notes could mean that you fail and you end up uh, discarding your entire score yeah, the end of this map definitely has a lot of fail potential. As you mentioned, the beginning starts out fairly simplistic for, I would have to say, players of this caliber. But it is on CS 6.5, and I mean, if you have nerves as well and you're shaking a little bit, it definitely definitely comes into play. And towards the end, you, you have to deal with these really, really awkward streams, as well as the major jumps right towards the end. So Yeah, and actually talking to Rafis earlier, uh, he basically told me that he, the way he and Wolf uh, see it for this match is that this is just a multiplayer lobby, which I think is extremely good mentality to have. Like, even though OWC is a super hyped event for the entire OS community, like, in the end of the day, it's still a multiplayer lobby between between eight players. And if you like multiplayer, if you like OS, there's nothing really out of the uh, way you could, you know, like, it will throw you off guard. You know the map pool, you know your skills, you know your teammate, let's just play this to the best of our extent and not worry about things we cannot control. In this case, we see that uh, opponents squeezing a slight lead from uh, USA with a drop from Digital Hypno, but Wilch also want to hold a combo on his team dropped as well. Yeah, I definitely think that's also a really, really good mentality to have. I mean, if you go into one of these lobbies, when there's eight players in there, you're pretty much just like representing yourself, even though you are technically representing a team. If you're representing yourself and just performing the best that you can, like you're obviously out to beat every player. Like you're not just focusing on beating the United States, you want to also beat your teammates. So it's double the motivation. Yeah, into this. exactly. And going down to the final section here, Slightly in favor of Poland, but anything could change. Apraxia's eye on a miss from Wolf, and meanwhile, Ilki recovering alongside Digital Hypno. Oh, Rafis, they're missing, could give a way to USA comeback. Here we go with the final lag section before hitting the final spaced section. Yeah, this is definitely going to get very, very close towards the end here because we have pretty much Wolf versus Apraxia, but then Ilki versus Mr. Boom at the same time. Digital Hypno and Toy also bringing up some nice combos. Vilchku and Ralphus are actually oh, missing. Quite a lot. A miss Wolf has the combo as well. All players on the are going for the FC here. Let's see if we can do it. If we can do it. It spells very big things for him. Oh, he oh, doesn't do it. Apraxia. That's a good lead. Having a little bit of trouble with that jump there. I did see a little bit of a cursor shake. We could actually see a fail coming in at the end. Oh, Apraxia here comes did the board drops. To do that last time. But so far, all players holding on. Yeah. Mr. Boom actually that, did happen to fail. Most, yeah, Mr. Boom does oh. fail. Yeah, but that that could have. Wow, that, that was incredibly close, actually. Um, yeah, so going over, uh, so this, this point going over to United States, uh, very well deserved from the carry of Apraxia. Yeah, that was that was very yeah. close. Even with Mr. Boom's score, it was still about 100,000 points the difference. Apraxia ended up just having insane performance on that overall, managing to hold on to that a little bit of extra combo in comparison to Wolf. But Wolf coming in with 99.26 on a map like that during score yeah. two. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, well. I guess Indian there, Sorry, yeah. go ahead, go ahead. I was just going to say, I guess there isn't really too many sliders in this. I don't think... Scorby 2 isn't something that impacts it too much because there's just a lack of sliders throughout that map. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, you know, boring from what the Canadian player Miro Hong said, to, uh, basically, the way he sees a player, if he, the player has mastery over the map, is that if he can get above a certain threshold in accuracy, which is in this case, I guess, 98.5 was the one that he coined for himself. 98.5 plus percent accuracy on a hard rock pick pretty much tells the world that you got this pretty well, and any miss you have difficulty uh, you will come across doing, that's gonna be due to almost pure chance and your condition on the day off. So I think uh, you know all the players in the room uh, definitely went above that threshold, if not coming very close to it. So that tells me that these players are all looking to be uh, equally at footing when it comes to UFC and getting good combos on the map. So now back to Poland with the pick, let's see what Poland will respond. Uh, probably with another double time, I'm guessing. Yeah, I'm curious to see whether or not we're going to see Kairi here, because that map is very interesting. Both players, uh, both sides actually perform really well on it. But we're actually seeing the Forgotten here being picked by Poland. Forgotten is a map that was not picked from the earlier matchup, and I think it's because the both teams was trying to avoid it. If not, USA was definitely trying to avoid this map, um, because we saw that uh, they had some difficulties against UK on this map, at least to say. 
Yeah, I mean, the highest score from the United States last time they played this map against the UK was 376,000. But this is a map that challenges pretty much every aspect. I mean, finger control, speed, even aim, and all that kind of stuff. So, yeah. Not only that, but it also has a very, very harsh reading ability. Like, the way I see it is that this map is a, a slightly easier version than the tiebreaker from the previous map pool, which is a flesh bound. I would say give or take, yeah. I mean, when it, come, when, it, when, it come, when it comes to the speed requirement for this kind of thing and the finger control, like, you can miss so easily, but when it comes to Fleshbound, like, Fleshbound is just, you know, it's, it's an endurance challenge. This map definitely challenges your endurance, but it also challenges it at a very, very high level. Yeah. And obviously like the fact that it's, it's way shorter, <laughs> way, way, way shorter. <laughs> yeah. And uh, when Kano says endurance, it's, we actually mean two things at the same time here. One thing is your concentration over the time, and the other is your stamina. Both things can deteriorate as you play through a map like this that requires incredible amounts of concentration. And uh, if you just mistake for, make a slight mistake, even for like one split second, that could cost your entire combo. And uh, you may even end up getting a fail from all of the sections, which, you know, I don't, I don't think there's too much of fail potential for this map, but I think it does have a lot of parts where it demands you to miss. Like it's serious high... writing, uh oh. <laughs> definitely a high demand for misses here because, I mean, those burst streams, they are just insane. Like, if you manage to get through that, then you're doing pretty well. And, I mean, we see a lot of accuracy drops coming in on those in particular. So it's either you sacrifice accuracy for combo. Here we go into the beginning. Starts off not even like taking a breather here. Everything starts off just strums right down to the top here. And here we are already seeing USA taking a slight lead from combos. Uh, Poland has one more misses coming in. That's one more miss too, one miss too many. But in the earlier section, it basically comes down to the players adjusting to this map. And I think by the part of the time we hit the quarter section, which is going to be now, uh, that's going to be when the players are fully adjusted and ready to get down to just comboing through the rest of the map. And we're seeing that Xerius plus Apraxia both holding incredible full combo still. And Monko 2K slightly behind, but not so much. There goes that commentator's cast there. Xyrus dropping oh, as soon as you say that. Xyrus having a little tiny bit of trouble with accuracy could make a bit of a difference. I mean, we're seeing so yeah. far that almost every player on the side of Poland is just beating Xyrus, except for Alien, being only a thousand points behind. And that's pretty much coming down to the fact that the accuracy difference is so huge. I mean, indeed, we saw indeed. at the beginning, Xyrus was saying, uh oh, so, you know. Yeah. He, I mean, he doesn't really enjoy <laughs> trying to. Trying to get accuracy on this map, it's all about a combo game when it comes to this one. Exactly. I think it it comes down to what I call it, like cheesing through the combo by sacrificing the accuracy. That's probably what Xerxes is trying to do there, but ended up being too costly for him as we yeah. see that his full combo didn't end up meaning too much. Every single player had missed on that one A stream section except for Piggy. Piggy is still holding on throughout all of these. What I was gonna say is well, like, Piggy. Pi Piggy and Rafa's are definitely two players to really look out for on this. So Praxia yeah. Moko 2k as well, but my goodness. Yeah, he, he does drop Harvard, he already so gave a huge lead for his team on this map. I mean, yeah, like right now it just that comes down to whether or not USA could muster a way to come back from this, but Piggy's not giving them a breather as that earlier combo did help his team uh, regain momentum. Alien and Rafis are going to be there to counter Apraxia and Monko. However, no worth is that Apraxia has 90 plus percent, which is very high for this map, as we see that he beats out all players from the Polish side. But by himself, it's going to be enough. Monko does drop. He has 600 combo though. Is there only enough map? I don't think there's going to be enough. Let's see what could happen here. He does drop. And yeah, that's going to be the point going over to Poland. Piggy definitely the carrying here. I mean, Piggy more like Pigzilla, if you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> oh boy. But yeah, I mean, as, as mentioned, Piggy and Rafa's were two players to really look out for. They are the double time strength on the Polish side. And when it comes to a map like that, it sort of plays very similar to it when you have these really, really high BPM burst streams kicking in. And I mean, Piggy managing to get through the 1-8 streams, I was very, very impressed to see something like that. Yeah. Apraxia also managed to build back a nice combo towards the end, and even having 98.1 accuracy on a map like that with a one miss. I mean, we could have seen a few slider breaks in between that, but my goodness, some impressive <laughs> plays from both sides.
Of course, actually, I think Apraxia beats out Piggy's score just by having the lower combo. But of course, that comes that comes from his tremendously higher accuracy. Uh, noteworthy play, definitely going over to him, but he by himself was not enough. So USA has to rethink this and uh, put more backbone support in favor for Apraxia. He's not going to be enough to carry the team all by himself. And Poland there, uh, looking like they were trying to support Piggy, but Piggy was still largely by himself for a large majority of the map. Yeah, so it is now United States pick. It is three to three. Scores are tied. Yeah, I don't wonder what they're gonna go for. Because slowly but surely we are running out of picks in the pool. I think it might be in their best interest to try out a free mob. I think so too, but free mod for some reason seems to be... Oh, and there we go, the, the free mod. Um, I was going to talk about the free mod is kind of like this mixture between the two combo battling, like a uh, modded combo, combos, but the two non-combo, which is the two no mods, they're going to be the ones to just uh, straight spell out consistency, consistency, and consistency, playing like no mod. And in this case, this map on no mod is fairly manageable by all players, I would say. In that case, I think US has a slight leeway. Yeah, I mean, free mods are always very interesting because they are pretty much a sheer test of consistency. Like, they're very heavily flavored in terms of consistency picks. Going for hard rock on something like this is very risky. We may see it come out of Apraxia if Apraxia is dipping into this one, but I think it'll probably be in the United States' best interest to try and go for the two hiddens and match Poland with maybe two hiddens as well. Yeah, and give Apraxia. Oh, and <laughs> actually, that, that, that no Fire else Rage. Meta Girl at 99. Oh, poor Fire Rage. For some, reason, <laughs> for some reason, the American players are really just showing their Jovio side today. I really like I really like this. They are showing that they don't have too much pressure on the shoulders. They have confidence that they will prevail. And that confidence, I think, is going to mean good things for them in the long run. Yeah, I mean, I'm really looking forward to seeing how the rest of this does turn out. It seems like the players have a very, very good approach to it, as you mentioned the mindsets earlier of uh, Wolf and Rafus. And I mean, even the United States, they're going into this pretty chilled, pretty relaxed about it. Yeah. Someone was asking in chat about, like, can anyone explain the roles? And uh, my answer to that is there is no explanation. The players are just rolling the random numbers for the sake of it. Like, they are bored, waiting in the room, and they decide to roll. That's basically all I could tell you. So yeah. Going down to this, uh, this free mod pick, seems like we have two hitters on each side. Yeah, they're actually going for the safer option, but it's quite a surprise to see Apraxia on Hidden here. Apraxia isn't really a player that we see going for the Hidden that often, but could have been practicing some of it. And I mean, yeah. on a map like this, it's it's definitely something that isn't uncomfortable. Could be giving Fire Rage and Toy an easier way with the combos. I think they're going for the two full, safe full combo strategy against Poland, who has to overextend a little bit to counter them in this case. We know that Toy can be extremely, extremely consistent on Nomad. So yeah, let's see how the players will do. Fire Rage here is going to be also another target to look at because he is the one to uh, that the team gave the easy ticket to. Yeah. These number of consistency picks are very interesting, but we're actually seeing an early miss coming out from Apraxia here. That hidden might not be paying off for the United States just yet, but we have to wait and see. Yep, this song has two or uh, three quarter sections, uh, each building up on top of the previous. And that, and here we go into the first part. This is where we can see some breaks coming in. Yeah, this is the first major build-up section where we start to see things pick up a little bit, the jumps start kicking in, awkward patterns. As we've mentioned, Handsome is usually a mapper that's very well known for some of the edgier mapping, but this is a little bit more of a, a standard map, I'd have to say. In comparison, yeah. at least. In comparison to his entire portfolio, definitely. I mean, Handsome is being around the community for a long time, and uh, he's been he's mapped some very interesting, uh, sorry, very interesting picks to be put in the map pool. And in this case, one of his more traditional standard is right now in the pool. Uh, going through the first quarter section, actually, all players are holding combos aside from the Praxia, who just dropped now. Uh, but I mean, it could still swing either way because three full combos uh, on each side now with Wolf missing is gonna 
mean something big in the long run, which means that whoever drops first next will be giving the lead to the other team. Yeah, it's going to come down to whoever can hold those combos the longest out of the three on each side. Because Wolf and Apraxia are both having a little tiny bit of trouble. We're seeing combo resets. Yeah. Both players actually holding the same accuracy, so it could be that they're both just down to the consistency issues. And we're seeing oh, that... Could drop the... Oh yes, this he did be... drop. This could be the edge that the United States needs. It might go back in their favor, but Fire Rage actually happens to drop there. As I do say that, it's still two fun, full combos against each other. Yeah, but however, Fire US has a, has a hidden mod on one of the full combos. There's a slight score, not too much, but definitely a score in favor. And in this case, where everyone holds a very good accuracy by themselves, it could mean that it would come, it come down to a very close one decided by solely the, the mod multiplier. In this case, Waxen dropping again. Oh, actually, Waxen just dropping now. It's not good because he was one of the full combos. Yeah, this is where the mod multiplier is going to start kicking in as well. We still have two full combos and they're against Rathus. Yeah, the score is going back in favor of the United States. Yeah, but Poland, Team Poland has to hold on for, for a slight slither of hope that Team USA yeah. would give them one more drop. One more drop is possibly all they need, but USA will would they have give to them say, that? I would have to say at this point they need two drops from the full combos. Possibly. Although this is the section where it could happen, but there may not be enough time left. It seems like the, the score difference is just getting larger and larger yeah, this is to where the, the point where there might not even be potential for a game. comeback. And with more drops coming from Poland than USA, this is going to be... I think it's going to go over to USA now. There's not too much fail, uh, fail potential at the end. We do see a couple of large jumps, but now that 200,000 points in difference in favor of USA, it's going to mean that USA is going to take this game. Period. Yeah, they've pretty much sealed the deal with Itki and Toy coming in with... Oh, Itki actually yeah. missing... And the Toy as well missing right at the end. Ralph that's is still holding that full combo, but it's not Ralph enough. Ralph has to make up a 20,000 by himself, and that's not enough <gasps> with the remainder of his score. Despite those misses yeah. coming in from Itki and Toy right at the end, it still wasn't enough to bring it back for Poland. It was just too late, too far gone. <laughs> exactly. But Rafa did actually manage to full combo that with 99.3 accuracy. A very, very solid performance from him, as well as yep. Itki and Toy on the side of the United States coming in with two 1.5k combos. Toy with the one miss, Itki actually might have had a little bit of trouble on that jump section, but that could have been the hidden being that that reason for it. As and, I mentioned, uh, it was quite a surprise to see Apraxia on hidden. I mean, I, I think he's a player that doesn't really enjoy it. From what I've seen, he, he mentioned he doesn't really play it much. Yeah. I mean, five misses, and they were occurring at random points in the map too, so... Yeah, definitely he seems to be struggling with the mod, but I think he's just trying to take one for his team. And actually, correction on something I said earlier. So I got corrected by uh, Debs by saying that the uh, role meta girl from is actually uh, from the song uh, Sleeping with Sirens. I think it's. Uh, what's the name I was thinking about? Uh, uh, if you can't hang. Yeah, if you yeah. can't hang. There we go. If you can't hang. We're trying to get meta either girl, 17 or 23. 17. <laughs> yeah, that's a very good. That's a very good song and a very good, uh, very well mapped to be putting those. Oh, and we're going down to see Gatado. Oh boy, Elemental Creation. This is going to be a very, very interesting map to see for both of these sides. Yep. Now this is a fairly challenging one. We've seen that uh, pretty much all teams so far that play this pool have some difficulty with this, uh, with this pick. In that it's one to not really produce any good full combos. I don't think anyone has truly being able to put it under their belt saying the that only, it's their the only player, Yeah, the only player that actually managed to full combo this I think was Dust Ice. Yeah, Dust Ice we, was we see a one. Full combo from Dust Ice on, on this map in Scorby 2 is absolutely insane. But yeah. However, I mean, still, it's, it's a very shaky pick, I would say. This map, in the previous match, slightly favoured Poland uh, by about 400... Well, I, I say slightly, but it was actually about 400,000 points, the difference. Um, Wobble Fourth was a player who still stood out very much on this. Axarius as well was another one. Itki also performed very well, but I think last time they ran Digital Kitten with Fire Edge, and those two were having just a little tiny bit of trouble on this one. So we are seeing pretty much the same roster, except with Fire Edge swapping out for Apraxia here. It seems like Poland are going for the exact same roster that they had last time, so they are feeling confident on this one. Just have to see whether or not Apraxia can step up, and whether or not the United States can maybe score a point against Poland on their own pick with this change of roster. Yeah, it's going to be interesting to see how things go here. Apraxia is definitely needed today, as we see that uh, Team Poland is definitely better than where they were two days ago. 
But this part is this map is just described by streams, streams, and streams. I mean, you get jumps here and there to, uh, to make up for it, but they're very challenging overall. In that the map doesn't really give you any breather throughout the way. Like they're just challenges thrown at your face, pretty much every five seconds, with less than five seconds in between each hard pattern. Yeah, the streams are very, very relentless in the way. It's just the general aim and stamina requirement for them is insane. Yeah. We're seeing a few misses coming in from Mr. Boom, Waxon, Rathus, Digital Hypno, as well as Praxia in the beginning. Mobile Wolf and Exarius are still holding on to combo, but Wolf drops, as I say that, on that really, really tough stream. Exarius still holding on here with 90 yeah. accuracy. Exarius did pretty good last time around as well, so this could be that his chance to carry, 99 plus percent, shows that he definitely got this. He's not just doing this as a fluke. Like, USC players all holding above 99 except for Digital Hypno, which is, I guess, understandable, but Xerius will be the one to carry here this time, with very good accuracy, back waxing on the other side to challenge, but he's being neutralized by Apraxia, offset completely, almost. Yeah, Xerius oh, definitely exact in the driver's seat here. Xerius looking to full combo this, possibly? No, and he does break, Oh, but he already gives a 300,000 lead for his team, and that's going to be more than enough, I think, for his team to secure this point. I mean, as much as Xarius was in the driver's seat, you still got co-pilot Apraxia here to make sure yeah. that the United States can take this one. <laughs> pretty, yeah, pretty much co-piloting here. I mean, if anything, could be could be swapping over to the driver at this rate. I mean, 99.6 on a map like this. Still a one miss coming in there, but there's no combos to make a difference on the side of Poland. It's going to be going well in favor of the United States. Yeah, we ended up seeing the, uh, co the combo carries Wolf Wolf and Graf is uh, appearing short today. For whatever reason, but that's going to cost their team uh, tremendously. As we see, that Raph is only managing a 270 combo, which is the lowest on the board. He probably has some adjustments to make. We saw that he was having some hardware difficulties, but yeah, um, earlier he did full combos. I'm guessing he was trying to experiment with things. So USA now with the next pick, and they're five to three, two points in lead, and two points from taking back uh, this match, which is yeah, much I needed. Just, I just want to talk about this. I mean. We have Apraxia and Waxon pretty much with very similar accuracies. The only difference is obviously that Apraxia got a 50 and Waxon got a 100. Both players having three misses. Apraxia managed to hold on to a slightly larger combo, but still, those accuracies on a map like that in a tournament scenario, that's insane. It just shows that these players perform really, really well under pressure. Yeah, since that USA wants to make the game two definite thing to happen, and we are we as commentators are anticipating that as well. But Poland here uh, definitely doesn't want anything along that line. They want to just win and go home and period. Uh, USA here uh, now picks Kyrie. This is a Kalafina song, a double time, uh, AR 10.3. Yeah, this one is definitely a map which kind of favors the alternating, but again, it's very uncomfortable due to the fact that there's such a high approach rate. When you put a map like this on 10.3, it plays very differently from something that you're very used to. I mean, it's not like your amazing break, the alternating star that we see from that. And not only that, it is still fairly speedy. Yeah, so far we've seen USA being a team that if you allow them the breathing they, they need, they'll be able to come back. But whereas Poland seems to be struggling by uh, always losing the lead by just a little but a little too much. Um, for this pick, I think with the double-time roster, they can manage a fairly competitive uh, challenge for USA. However, they have to watch out for USA as that if the USA is doing a double-time pick, it means that USA is fairly confident on what they can do on this pick. Because USA is not known for being good on double-time, and Poland will have to watch out uh, to not miss too many times. <laughs> You really for them to manage a good score and a good lead on this map. I mean, the United States have had a really, really solid performance on this. They actually managed to beat Poland last time. Um, the only thing is, though, that Rafus did full combo this last time as well, so that's definitely something to be looking out for. Piggy as well is another player who performs really well on double time, but, I mean, the United States has a fairly balanced lineup when it comes to double time, especially with a map like this. I mean, Toy even favors on this as well. Because you might see Toy having a little bit of trouble on some of these faster picks, particularly like Levide, for example. But on a map like this, Toy will shine quite a lot. Yeah, definitely. Like, Toy is what I would describe as a jack of all trades, master of none. But master of none in the sense that, uh, of the extreme, highly competitive sense. 
uh, but he is overall a very good tournament player and one a force to be reckoned with inside uh, OWC Grand Finals, especially. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we've seen from community results that Toy is definitely a player that is capable of playing pretty much almost anything and still performing really well on it. Yeah, 4-4 four, four combo is going strong, Poland has having some early misses. Uh, we're gonna need to see some better things from them to come back. But in this case, USA starting off this 10.3 with very strong, very convincing lead. Yeah, we're actually seeing a bit of a different roster from Poland in comparison to last time. They're opting for Alien here instead of A-Star, so this could be something that pay off, might pay off for them. Maybe not though, it's just, I don't know, it could be that A-Star might not be around, but... Maybe they just want to give Alien a little bit more of an opportunity to perform really well on a double time pick. Because we've seen him on both, I think. We've seen him on Libide as well last time. Had a little bit of trouble with it, but this one definitely plays very different in comparison to that. Yeah, still four full combos coming in from the United States here. Wolf is the only player I actually think that might have been an early miss, but pretty much holding a full combo for the side of Poland. Yeah, Piggy right behind him, but they need more misses coming from USA. Apraxia does miss, which is a good start, but well, for Poland that is. But Apraxia alone would not be able to make too much of a difference. Yirki and Toy, along with Monko 2K, looking incredibly strong defending this lead against Poland. Ref is missing there, and that's not going to be good. 30,000 points in favor of USA at this point is very strong in the midsection. This is where the combo starts to really spell out. As we see that uh, the lead now is expanded almost purely by the sense that USA has three combos, and most like more four combos than uh, Poland does. Yeah, and Iki still does after that drop. section. Yeah, Iki happened to drop just before that slow section. We won't be seeing a full combo coming in from Rafa's either. Wolf is still holding on to a really nice combo. Right now, Poland need the United States to drop their two full combos. There's one, Toy dropping. Monko 2K needs to hold on here. We have seen Monko 2K have a little bit of trouble on this map in the past, but definitely stepping up this time around. I mean, it seems like these players in the United States have been just trading players when it comes to who is going to full combo map. It's like one yeah. moment you'll see one moment you'll see like a Praxio and Monko 2K full combo, and the next moment you see Ikki and Toy full combo, for example. So at least they always have a consistent line. I mean, when it comes to having two <laughs> teamwork is always that's that's always a way to look at teamwork if you want to think of it that way. In this case, yeah, exactly. uh, yeah Apraxia recovering from the combos earlier loss, and uh, Piggy is being offset by him almost com yeah completely. Yeah, the score difference is just too great at this point. We're yeah. just past the three quarter mark. It's already, already 400,000 points in favor of the United States. So Praxi is also building up a nice, a nice 1k or yeah, almost 1k combo here. Piggy dropping once again. Wolf is still holding on to near full combo. Yeah, Monko does Monko drop. Drops, that's not gonna be enough. That's it's not, not gonna be a difference maker. Yeah. yeah. Because of Praxi and Toy and Ipki as well. Managing to bring back some combos. Wolf drops right at the end as well. Fra Rafus getting that 1k combo towards the end, but just the breaks early from Poland pretty yeah, much still the deal too the United late. States. Yeah. Now Poland's down 6 to 3. Now this is arguably better than where they were last time around, uh, in that they had to come back from 6 to 1. So was we see something similar this time from Poland because um, U.S. Is certainly is prepared this time, as you can see, and if Poland does go into a tiebreaker situation on this match, it's going to be, uh, I think we're going to see some roster change for USA compared to last time as well. So I am just sitting here and wondering what can Poland possibly pick to make a comeback here. Wolf does show some uh, good combo here, but his team is kind of letting him down overall. Yeah, so, Wolf yeah. definitely stepping up on that one, but the accuracy tanking just a little tiny bit. But I mean, on a map like that, it's kind of expected. That map is a huge test of finger control. But yeah, right now, Poland needs to look towards the pole, the pool rather, and see if they can find something that might be a saving grace for them. Oh, and keep in mind though, this is a very, very interesting choice because we've actually seen that the United States has performed really well in this. Although Poland definitely do have some players who can perform well in this. We've seen that Wolf and Rafa's had very strong performances in the previous match, or maybe not even the previous match. I think I've seen those on the leaderboards.
Yep, this map, uh, mapped by the Norwegian player Sebu, it's been considered a bane of existence for some players due to it's just absolutely brutal with the <laughs> with the pattern placements. We got sliders uh, and space string patterns all around, and it's not particularly in either high or low BPM, so it really puts a player in challenge with a finger control. Also, it's a very reading based hidden, so yeah, despite it being AR 9.3, uh, I think. So, fairly fast, but, well, fairly high AR, but not high enough. <laughs> I think more players are going to just go for the safer route of going for the cheesing the accuracy, cheesing the combo, sorry. Accuracy, you can cheese it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we've talked about this map being very, very technical in terms of the, the stream jumps that it has to offer. There's definitely potential for a team fail coming in on some of those parts where we mentioned, you know, you may want to cheese it just to make sure that one player gets through kind of thing, but we're yeah. going to see a lot of accuracy tanks on that, if not potentially fails. Although, we might not see a team fail here. I would say these players are fairly comfortable on a map like this. We did say last time that it actually went in the favor of the United States by about 150,000 points, but Poland is looking to change that this time around. This is their pick. Yeah, they are just calling last time a fluke, a pure love that USA won, and this time they're looking to show that they got this. But the earlier miss from Mr. Boom is not going to be helping. Yeah, Rafus and Mobbapool are definitely two players to look out for from the side of Poland on this one. Digital Hypno and Toy are also two really good players. Fire Rage should also step up very well. Ikki was having a little tiny bit of trouble with this last time, and we're seeing that so far. Three early misses coming in from the United States. Digital Hypno, Toy, and Ikki all dropping there. Mr. Boom and Rafus have dropped as well, along with Virchku slightly early. Yeah, Fire Rage there with only four combo remaining on US team. Now it's his turn to carry. Kano, you've already yeah. mentioned about USC just taking was, turns every player's carry. <laughs> it seems like that's I was gonna the say, case. I was going to say as well, I mentioned that Fire Age was looking to step up here, and so far that is the case. Holding 99% accuracy, pretty much battling Wolf right now. Needs yeah, to I hold mean, on here. <laughs> Fire Rage is the last player, really, to be honest, I was expecting to make Oh my goodness, on dropping right that. for the slow section as well. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not sure if my I don't think it's I don't think it's my curse. Nope. I think I'm a little bit delayed with that. It's it's definitely the curse. Every it's definitely, the definitely curse. that curse. No, no but his Let's team see. is there to back him up though. Digital Hypno and Yuki both managing enough combos and Wolf they're dropping. Could be a way to a way to the USA to hold on to the lead to the very end. Here we go to the harder section where we can see some team fails. Yeah, we've seen we've seen all players on the side of Poland drop their combos and it's well in favor of the United States here. This is going to be going to them. Unless they happen yeah. to fail, which doesn't look like that's the case. So. We're getting to the lowest point of the song. The United States will be taking the first set with the best of 13. 7 to 3. Very, very convincing victory on that one. That was a very risky choice from Poland. I mean, they, I, I, they I agree. didn't manage to win last time. Yeah, Mr. But Boom's I think accuracy was... certainly doesn't show that he is anywhere as competitive on this map as he would like to be. But, I mean,. <laughs> yeah, this is a very difficult pick regardless. Yeah, I think it's really tricky to see. When it, when it comes to the beginning as well, like if you don't manage to combo the beginning, which I'd have to say is one of the easier sections, even though it's still very, very difficult, it's something that's going to make a huge difference on a map like this because most players, we don't really see comboing through the ending. But, I mean, United States had a few players managing to get through that fairly comfortably as well. So that was very well played by them. So that is going... To the United States, 7-3. We'll be looking to swap over. Yep, and uh, we'll be having a slight roster switch on the commentator's seat uh, very soon because I will be stepping out and someone else will be joining you to provide you the commentary for the second uh, the second match uh, with Kano here. And that's going to be Doomsday from the UK roster, who's an extremely good player, a monster, uh, both from the, the old sense and the new one. So yeah, he is going to be coming in and provide you with more insight uh, in terms of the match because I think he uh, his uh, professional opinions here will definitely be appreciated. And actually, Kano, what we're waiting for, uh, I think it's 10 minutes break we're taking, so while we're waiting here, can we just go down and drill into some points where we think that could be some major implications for the team? Yeah, I mean, we've seen so far that Poland doesn't really favor Hidden too much because they they obviously chose to ban Made of Fire and they haven't really been performing as well as they would like to on a map like Polygon. Yeah, 
I think they can possibly go for the more uh, safer route in that not really safe by leaving poly by leaving Mail Fire out as an option because really I don't think it's anyone's uh, it's anyone's map on that one. It's a very risky pick that USA would, wouldn't even go for unless they have like a very very convincing com confidence that they can win on that one. And I think it's uh, better for them to just leave it open and possibly make for an attack on it when they see an op opening. Uh, after we have seen that USA could just completely upset the match on, on Poland with uh, Kaksestanatos, which they did 3.5 million on with three full combos, which was 